Hey guys, I'm Adam, and welcome to the Art of UAV. Today is going to be a two-part episode. I've just got my hands on a Turner G Evolution controller, and also in my last video, I went and uh, did a video on the Yishin Wizard. My mate lent me one uh, that he purchased and asked me to set it up. I enjoyed it so much, I went and bought one for this episode, so I've got one myself now. So yeah, today we're going to be able to get inside the, the Wizard, set up the receiver so it's binded to the controller. Also, I want to cut the battery telemetry cables and solder them to, to the board itself. That will allow me to have the battery reading on my controller and the alarm, so when the battery's running low, that'll, that'll allow me to do that. So yeah, that's today. Uh, next episode will basically be me showing you how to set your controller up to your quad. Also, going back into Betaflight, like doing a few new settings in there, and uh, there's a piece of software that I found, which is BL Heli, which is, uh, allows you to update your ESCs. Something new to me, but yeah, I'll share that with you in the next video. So I think the best thing to do is get onto the bench, open it up, get some soldering done, get them components into place, and then go from there. Wicked. Right, guys. So I'm just going to give you a rundown what comes in the box with the controller. You get this nice little hard shell over the top of it to protect your controller, which is quite nice. You uh, get a manual and a USB charger, so you have to plug it in here. You won't, don't get a plug, so you've got to do it by USB. So that's that. Also, you get in the packet itself, you get a binding pin, which we don't actually necessarily need. Um, you get your battery telemetry cable. That's what we will be using today. You get another spare set of cables, but the actual Ishim Wizard comes with one. So but that's, uh, it's just nice to, if you want to cut them and solder them on a bit neatly, you've got you've got an extra set of cables to do that. So these two can actually be moved for now, so we don't need them. So all you're going to need is your uh, Sonji receiver. I don't know if you can see that. Get a little bit close for it. That's your receiver. So you have PPM, SBUS, VCC, ground, and then your battery telemetry here. You could cut this off if you're doing a micro build. Because this is a lot of plastic you don't really need. But for the moment, we'll just leave it as it is. So this is your battery telemetry cable. This is what we need. We're going to actually be cutting this off. We'll be getting rid of this back end bit. We don't need that. Stripping the cables back, plugging this into the receiver here, and then soldering these two on the uh, PDB. So what I've got today is I've got some uh, good solder here, this silver line, I'll leave a link in the uh, description for this stuff, uh, here's 60-40, so 60-10, 40 lead, this is really good stuff, it's good because um, it works on a low wattage on your, your solder machine, so this is just a nice, uh, nice bit of solder, you need some scissors or some snips, you're going to need your screwdriver with your allen key fit to, to undo the top of the e-sheen. And I'm just using this so I can prop my cables up while I'm soldering, so it just gives me a second hand, basically. I'm going to move some of this stuff out of the way for a minute. I'll probably cut to uh, the next scene. What I'm going to just be doing in, in the meantime is actually just going to be unscrewing all these six bolts and taking the top plate off. So I'm just taking the six screws out the top guys, so I just take the lid off, take all the side panels out, so just break it down so you've got some space to work with. The camera can stay where it is for the time being. It's mainly this back area that we're going to be working on, so we need to make sure we get all this sort of out of the way really, because we need to get in here. Best thing to do is I'd remove the back poles if you can. More space is better. Also your VTX here, you can unclip this if you want to take this back bit off, so it just gives you a bit more space to work with. I'll see how I get on, if it gets too much, um, I'll remove that. This is your actual receiver cable here, it actually comes with the Sheen Wizard already. This is actually in PPM at the moment. So what we're going to be doing is actually going to be removing that and putting it into iBus, which is at the back here. Um, so we're going to be unplugging that, plugging it into here, and then working off that. So for the moment, we can actually remove this. So just plug that out. Put that to one side. And then what we need to now do is basically we're going to take the flight controller off and get to the PDB underneath, because uh, that's where we're going to be doing our soldering today. If you just want to unscrew, they just, they're just normally finger tight. So just unscrew these four bits, take this off to the side, just move it to the side, and then we can get to the underneath. So once you've removed these four bolts on either corner, you can then just pop off your flight controller. See where you can put it. You need to sort of try and get it up the front of the quad if you can, because we're going to be actually working down the back end here. It's going to be a little bit tricky to see because there's quite a lot of cables, so I'm going to just try and point out the best I can what we're going to be working with. It's actually going to be your battery lead. 
So the battery lead that you click your bike, uh, put your LiPo into, it's actually that down to the PDB. That's what we're going to be working today. So I'm just going to move a few cables out of the way for the moment, um, and then I'll uh, bring it up to the camera and I'll I'll direct you the best I can to where we're working with. If you can see here, these are your battery cable. So we come down and it goes onto this board. It's actually the black and red one in the middle. It's the two middle ones here. So you just follow in this cable here and we're going to be working on these two soldering spots here. That's where we're going to be working with. What we need to do is basically take our battery uh, telemetry cable. This is where it is. So obviously red to red and then black to black. So we're going to nip this off. We're going to then solder them two onto each other. While this is going on, I'd probably put your soldering iron on, get that heated up now, get some water on your sponge, um, and then yeah, get that heated up. We'll get these snipped down and then work from that ready. What you want to do now is take your scissors, and actually it might be worth just sort of doing a little measurement of where, how far you want to go. Okay, so yeah, that's going to be plenty. So yeah, just take off a snip at the bottom, not much. That's about enough really. That's been cut off. We don't actually need that bit now, so we can put that to the side. And what we need to now do is we need to strip these cables back. I'd strip them back about that much, not too much, because uh, uh, you don't want wire exposed. So we're actually going to just take off and then we're just going to tin to the end. So yeah, if you can see that on the camera, not much at all. So I'm going to strip these back. You crack on with that and then we'll come back to the next stage. All right, so there's my cable stripped back. I don't know if you can see it on the camera. It's not much there. Just, uh, we're just taking a bit off. Uh, we're now actually going to tin this with solder. So that's going to be your next step. So just get uh, your soldering going, uh, get your, your, your solder here, and then we're going to tin these. So I'm going to have to move some stuff out of the way. Just use these, I just find them easier so I can put the cables in. Put them tight, you can just bend them over like so. This is what I'll be working with here. Next thing to do get your solder and iron, get it real hot, and then what we're going to do is we're just going to put a blob of tin all the way around the cable, um, just on the top end here. All you want to do, if you've never used soldering iron before, all you do is put the contact in the middle and then slowly push the solder onto, onto your cable. So we're just tinning on a bit of that. So I'm going to go ahead and do this. And I'll bring it back to the camera and just show you how it looks like. So I've just tinned top ends of the cables. I don't know if you can see that on there. I mean, it seems like there's quite a bit solder on there but actually because it's such a big area on here we need to make sure we've definitely got the connection over the top of it if it's small delicate uh, pieces that we do we wouldn't put this much on but because they're quite big areas we need to make sure we've got enough on there so that's pretty much the the cable sorted now so as the next step is to actually like i say let's go back to this we want to be following these battery leads down and then what we want to do is tin the red to the red and black to the black so literally, we're just going to put them onto, I don't know if you can see that underneath the flood control, we'll get that out of the way. It's going to basically just go onto there. So it's just going to literally. Okay, I'm going to do this. I say I'll solder these on and then come back to you. All right, guys, I know it's a bit tricky and I didn't show you how I was soldering it, but you'll get a closer picture now that I've put it in. Get this out of the way. So here we go, you can see I've just literally soldered red onto red, black onto black, and just tacked it on top, so they're just there nicely. So that's that part done. All right, so I did unclip the uh, BTX. I'm just a bit scared of actually singeing these cables while trying to lean over with the solder. And so yeah, if you haven't clipped that, put that back in now. That's the BTX back in. What we're going to do is we're going to 
basically plug your receiver now into the, uh, the quadcopter. So we're going back to the cable that came with it. Basically, if we just split these cables up a little bit more. Your ground is your black, uh, red is your live, and white is your signal. So I'm moving from uh, PPM and I'm going to go to uh, iBus. So what we need to do is make sure we plug this into iBus mode. So that is literally the back end of the uh, the, the, the flight controller. So we're actually plugging it in. It was actually plugged in this side, so we're, but we're actually going to go into this side now. So just make sure you're uh, you plug this into here. Right, so that's now connected. So it's the back end of the board it goes into iBus. And then what we want to then do is go to your uh, receiver and we're going to miss PPM. So white's going to go into iBus. So just find your cable, find the white end, and then we're just plugging that into iBus. Well, less bus on here, but it's our bus on the uh, the wizard. So I'll plug that in, and that is now pretty much ready to be linked up to your controller. So what I'm going to do now, quickly, is I'll cut the video again. I'm just going to put all this back together because uh, we don't actually need to do anything else in here now. Uh, once this board's down, I'll bring you back and show you how to connect your your actual battery cable to here. Right guys, quick recap of what we've done. We removed the flight controller, we attached the battery telemetry cable to the power line on the PDB. We've now put the flight controller back on, screwed that down, and we've removed the cable from uh, PPM to SBUS or IBUS. We're plugging that into the back and we've connected it to the receiver. What we now need to do is next to the, next to the power cable there is a little clip down there that's your battery telemetry port we're just going to put that new cable we soldered on into there so i'm going to cut because it is quite fiddly so yeah, i'll cut this bit and i'll come back and we will then bind the controller to the quad you have now your battery cable in your receiver so everything's nicely in there that's ready to go so the next thing is we're going to bind the uh, the receiver to the controller firstly you'll need your antenna what comes with it i wasn't keen on this with the Ushin wizard i thought it was a bit cheap so I'll be swapping that out, but we need this on at the moment so we're not doing any damage to the quad before we put the battery in. So just make sure that that's nicely attached. You're going to need a battery and your controller. First thing we want to do is actually turn your controller on. Make sure all your things are set to zero because it will alarm you and you won't be able to get into the settings. So once that's done, you just head in over to settings on the main screen. And then you just want to scroll through the menu to RX bind. I don't know if you can see that on the camera, it says RX bind. I'm going to be clicking on that. So that's ready to bind. And now we need to plug in the LiPo. Plug that into your quad. Straight away it just beeps and that is now binded. And as you can see on the screen, now our battery is showing up here, which is the, the telemetry cable that we've put in. I'll show you in the video how to go into there and make sure you set the battery to what it needs to be two solid lights on there and that is now working perfectly welcome back guys so that's the turner g evolution controller um overall it feels nice but i'm looking forward to actually using that but it wasn't so much about that it was just getting inside the quad um getting that receiver into place with the cables also getting the battery telemetry soldered in so you're going to get a reading on your controller next video i'll go over how to set up the controller go into beta flight do a few settings in there and also upgrade your escs so hopefully today's helped you if you've got any comments drop a comment below i'm happy to help as much as i can but happy flying, be safe, and I'll catch you next time. Peace.